Hey guys, welcome back to another review, and today I'm reviewing 1917, starring Dean Charles Chapman, George McKay, Daniel Mays, and Colin Firth, and was directed by Sam Mendes, and is about two young British soldiers during the First World War are given an impossible mission to deliver a message deep in enemy territory that will stop um, 1,600 men and one of the soldier's brothers from walking into a deadly trap. So, what worked? Well, first off, was the acting was incredible. The main actor I've seen in movies like The Commuter with Liam Neeson, and he was also in the Netflix movie The King, and he was really good. He was actually amazing in the film. And the second actor I haven't seen in anything. I know he was in Game of Thrones, according to IMDb, but I haven't seen that show, obviously. But he was still good, really good. And there is one cameo at the end of the film that was amazing. I won't spoil it, but it's awesome. Even if it was a cameo, I'm not sure. And the cinematography is, is breathtaking. I only need to say two words. Roger Deakins. Uh, if you somehow don't know who he is, he is the best cinematographer ever. He lensed, I think that's how you say it, movies like No Country for Old Men, Prisoners, which I've reviewed, uh, the 2010 remake to True Grit, which I also reviewed, uh, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou, The Shawshank Redemption, and The Village by M. Night Shyamalan. And yes, he won an Oscar for Blade Runner 2049, but I haven't seen it. But the cinematography is, is just amazing for this movie. I can't say how good the cinematography is. It is in words. It's that good. Just go see the film and you see for yourself. And I think Sam Mendes should win for Best Director. And I loved his other film that I've seen from him, which was Road to Perdition with Tom Hanks. And um, his direction in this film was incredible. And the set the de design was simply amazing. And they don't look like sets. They they look real. And yes, this film is shot to look like look like one shot. I've seen this done before with Birdman and Rope. But I think 1917 is better than Birdman and Rope. And there are some scenes that are just nail-biting, seat-gripping, scene, nail-biting and seat-gripping intense that put a knot in your stomach, and it's just handled so well. And I pretty much cried during this film. It was I'm definitely not afraid to admit that. And the the music, Thomas Newman's score, is incredible. It's just so good. Um, Newman, you did it again with your f music. He also did the score for Road to Perdition, in case you were curious. Um, so I have no negatives with this film. It's a masterpiece. I think this should win Best Picture, and I'm going to give it an A+, and is a masterpiece. So if you've seen 1917, what did you think about it? And if you haven't seen this film, go see it. It's, it's definitely worth it. And if you like this review, give it a like, and I'll see you next time with the Irishman review. So I'll see you then.